What is up everybody, it's Napalmic Acid. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at this rifle scope. It's from a company called Matey on Amazon. That's M-A-3-T-Y, so it's Matey with the three, and it's $54.99. It's a three to nine times zoom scope that has red and green illumination. So again, that's $54.99, so let's go ahead and get into it. On the front here, you see rifle scope, wide field of view, shock and recoil proof, fully coated lens and fog and waterproof. On this side you have a reticle, same thing over here, and the only other thing on the box is the barcode. So let's go ahead and get into it here. We're going to be installing it on the AR-15 we have over here. I usually have a Nikon 3 to 9 times zoom on there, but figure we'll give it a try with one of these more budget scopes and see how it compares. So first thing you get in the box is a little package. Let's go ahead and give this an opening. And you get two mounts right here and a Allen key and all the screws you'll need. We'll get into that in a second. Next in, you have the scope, of course. It does come with a lens cover. Not the best one, but you can see it right there. It works. Here's the scope, which we'll be taking a closer look at soon. And let's go ahead and see what else is in this bag here. A extra battery, CR2032. This is pretty standard for illuminated scopes. And car keys come in a lot of things. I believe it already has one installed in the scope as well. Right here you have a user manual, it looks like. You can see some of this down here. Features and all of the different positions for adjusting the zoom. And a silico gel pack right here. And the only other thing in the package is a microfiber cleaning cloth. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the scope right here. You can see right here is the adjustable zoom all the way from three to nine. There is the view piece right there. Up here, this is your adjustments here for different levels of brightness and between green and red. So you can see where it switches from red to the different color there. And you have all different levels. Inside of this cap right here, you have your adjustments for left and right. One quarter inch, 100 yards. In here, you have your up and down adjustments. And the only other screw point is actually built into the illumination adjustment. And that is where the battery goes. So it's very easy, you can pop the battery in or out, put it in, screw it back in. Very easy to change the battery in this thing. So you can screw all of these back in. We can take a closer look here with a few of them off. So now let's go ahead and install it on the AR-15 over here and see how it looks and fits. All right, so now that we have everything out, the first thing we're gonna be doing is attaching the mounting brackets to the scope here. Of course, make sure that your firearm is unloaded and on safety. So one of them already came with the screw removed right here. So all we have to do now is take out the other screw with the included Allen key and we're gonna do this for all of them. So they already come mostly undone. So we'll set all of that down. We'll grab our other piece here, removing the screws, just like that. Make sure not to lose any of your screws too, because you don't get any extras in the package. So now we're going to mount them to the scope, making sure that it's straight and the crosshairs are straight while it's mounted. All right, so after about five minutes of adjustment, I finally got the mounts on. I wanted to make sure they were straight. So when you're looking through the scope, they're straight. If you have these off kilt or any, you will notice it when looking down the scope. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mount it onto the rifle. You can see these metal bars going through it right here. These are what actually go through the grooves of your 
rails right here. I did put a riser on the AR-15. I'm not sure if you guys noticed that, but that was because the scope would foul on the grip here if I didn't because of the height variances. So we're going to make sure that our screws here are loose, and once they're loose, they'll easily slide onto this rail. So let's go ahead and do that now. The position's obviously based on your own preference, but as you can see, those two metal bars clip into place right there, and all you have left to do is turn your little screws here. These screws also do have a spot for a flathead screwdriver if you wish to tighten it further beyond what your hand can do. All you would do is get your screwdriver and stick it in there and turn just like that. So there you go guys, you can see it mounted up here, very secure, not going anywhere. All right guys, so this was the Mady scope right here. Before we close this video up, we are gonna take a look or try to take a look at the different brightness settings here. You can see right here easily, the little white dot, that tells you what current setting you're on. So you have five different settings of each, one to five for red and one to five for green. Five being the brightest, one being the dimmest. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to switch it to the one position here. We're gonna attempt to take a look through it. That's green right there as you can tell. We're gonna switch it to five being the brightest setting here and you can see how much brighter that is. All right, so now we're gonna switch to red. This is red setting one, which is the dimmest setting. Sorry, trying to get a good angle there and I'll flip through them on camera. You can see it getting noticeably brighter each time. And then you have off position again. So there you go, guys. I would try to give you some better views down this thing, but I'm not really sure that I can. But I have looked through this. I have used it for a bit now. And it does seem to be a pretty good scope. The clarity is very good. It's not up to my Nikon. But then again, this is under a fourth of the price of the other scope. So if you're looking for a budget accurate scope, it's made out of full aluminum here. It says aircraft grade aluminum on the Amazon page. This is a good option to consider. So there you go guys, this is the Mady scope. It sells for $54.99 on Amazon. And there will be a link in the description below and possibly a coupon code. So there you go guys and thanks for watching.